Kia ora, Mike. No mai, hara mai. Thank you so much for coming along. You're welcome. So what you're going to do is take your high-end, beautiful menu and make it doable just in the kitchen at home? Yes, hopefully. Okay, so what are we going to make today? <laughs> so today we're going to make focaccia, Roman-style focaccia, which is nice and flat. And then as a main course, it'll be a beautiful spring lamb loin, roasted with a pepper nata and crazy, crazy fresh herbs, ton of flavour. Kaporangi is the kai, so you're going to feel crazy when you eat them. The fresh explosion, yeah. Kapai. So what do we do first? So we're going to make the bread. Uh, basically, four ingredients, flour, salt, oil and yeast. So it's fairly easy, is it? It's extremely easy. And in fact, this is not so much for us, just a standard pizza dough recipe that's yep. been modified into bread. Yeah. And uh, the good thing about it is you can use leftovers for flatbreads, pizza breads. It's extremely versatile. So we'll need seven grams of yeast. Pizza. The 375 of uh, lukewarm water. So yeast goes in, scary spoon. And uh, we'll start the KitchenAid on slow. We're going to drizzle the water in, and after that, we're going to put in about 60 mils of olive oil. And it has to be olive oil, doesn't it? To have the Just for flavor, yeah, yeah, pretty much. And uh, sugar. No, just a pinch. Just a pinch of sugar. And uh, a few cracks of salt. As you see, it's starting to form a bowl already, mm. so it's, it's actually almost there. I would love to get on the bench and work it. Now it's going to finish kneading it by. Uh, Poke, poke. By hand, it's the messy job. That's the good one to get your kids involved too. And it's a little bit yellow because that's all the oil it's in there. Isn't oil, it? Yeah, it will go away. Once the oil penetrates the flour, okay. it will just go away. But it's, it is pretty much ready to be rolled and put into the um, tray for it uh, to proof. Okay. How the tikanga tena? So when you say proof, that means let, just leaving just it. Just let, right? let it rise, yeah. yeah. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil and that will help to get the better. Crust on the bottom. Ah, that's fingers good. dirty. Had a two or two thin, and there's nothing like that crust. <laughs> Just spread it out to fit the tray. So we have to leave it to proof. Yes. And anywhere in particular, it just has to be. I, ideally, on top of the oven somewhere, nice and warm, mm -hmm. or a hot water cabinet. That's a good one. If you don't have that, just preset your oven to about 50 degrees and a nice slow rise. Kapai. So now we need to make the topping for the focaccia, which is another three ingredients. Garlic, red onion, tomatoes. Oh. And we're going to cook them in the frying pan just very lightly, just so all these guys get to know each other. And, and so you want everything diced up? Oh, well, sliced no. up. That's, that's the beauty of the recipe. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like uniform cut. Oh, There's no, nobody's going to stand over your back and screaming at you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and what are you going to be doing? And I'm going to, I'm going to start on peperonata, which is the um, Sicilian, I guess that originally was a side dish. So it's okay, we've got quite chunky tomatoes, yep, that's all good. Yeah, and we can just start cooking it now. Kapai. And then start off with the onions and garlic and then finish off with tomatoes. Kapai. Next, we'll be add some beautiful fresh basil. Oh, paita kakara, smells good already. And I get a few cracks of pepper. And a little bit of salt. So at this stage, we just add just a little bit more oil, and we can take it off the heat. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Done. So we're going to start on pepper and nata. Start up with the olive oil. The while, so that's... while the oil is heating up, we're going to quickly uh, slice some garlic. Nice and thin. It's a bit of a sacrilege when people slice garlic extremely thick. It's like mesmerizing. <laughs> what do you do there? <laughs> At this stage, we need to be adding seasoning. We always start seasoning from the beginning. Season, correct it, and then finish it at the end. Look at that beautiful combination of the colors, flavors, and smells, I must say. So just stir it up or toss it up, whatever you feel comfortable with. So we can add capers, about 100 grams. Uh, while it's cooking, you and I, we're going to quickly pick some herbs together mm -hmm. just to finish the uh, pepper nata. Oregano, okay. and I'll do the uh, basil. As soon as you see um, the capsicums getting slowly stuck to the bottom of the pan, you actually want it. So that's the X factor, when you get that little crunch, exactly. and so it's almost caramelized. Yeah, it sticks to the bottom of the pan, and then we're going to lift it up with a little bit of vinegar. And that's good. I've never heard a chef say you want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. Some things you do. Yeah. As you see yeah. now, 
it's not moving as much, yeah. which means the sugar is coming out of the capsicums and starting to go to the bottom of the pan and starts to catch. And we're just gonna hit it with some, uh, pretty much a vinegar of your choice. But in this case, we're using uh, white wine vinegar. And that's what gives it the sweet and sour effect. Katahite kakara. It smells so, so beautiful. And at this stage, we can probably add all the herbs mm -hmm. and uh, let it cook away for a little bit. And it will be ready in about five, six, seven minutes. And what about the bread? What, is that what we need to do? I think we just we need to check on the bread. Oh. Do we just put it on top or what are we going to do here? Yeah, well, you can either put it on top, but if you want to really take advantage of a situation, just poke it all nice and deep inside. Ah. Yeah. Just if you go like one or two, two fingers at the time. Okay because we don't want to collapse the dough. Yeah. So it creates the focaccia look. And we're ready to bake. And how long in the oven? Give and take 20, 25 minutes. So you're onto lamb already? Onto the main hero, yes. So all we need to do basically is cook it. And it's, it is very thin fillet, so cooking time would be about two to three minutes. And what sort of kind of lamb have you got there? It's a lamb loin. Okay, nice. It's a nice young spring lamb, yeah. Once, once we turn them, we're going to add butter, thyme, and a little bit of crushed garlic. Put the tawara te manui o te pata, so the butter's going in for taste, is it? Yes, essentially, yeah. and there's going to be a sauce at the end. So we're going to use that, whatever, whatever's juice left over in the pan, we're going to juice a little over the lamb. Way, way I'm dribbling over here. I think it's pretty much there. How are you going to present this dish? Uh, we're just going to put the pepper on the bottom of the plate, slice the lamb, fan it all around, and then dress the watercress, just olive oil and salt pepper. And that's it. Super simple. Parohi, that looks amazing. You like? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so perfect. Jeez, mm. paita tawa mahi. We nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil across. It's just like a sponge cake, you know, absorbs the syrup. This will absorb the olive oil. Ah. Uh, ideally, you wanna leave the bread to set, so it needs to rest for sure. For how long? Uh, probably about, I don't know, five, six minutes. Okay, well, we definitely need to eat lamb. All right, time. let's do that. Mmm, yum. It's good. Oh, wow. I see what you mean about the sweet and sour thing, yeah. but it's not sharp like a usual. No, it's very mellow. Mm -hmm. Very gentle, sweet and sour. Yeah, and the meat is cooked beautifully. And the capers come yep. in as a little surprise. Yum, yum, yum. And then this beautiful breed. Me whakanui de fakasha. We really should give the fakasha its moment in the sun. A little bit of butter. <laughs> that looks so good. That's an impressive bite. Mmm, yum. Kare kore kafai de te kou mai de te kou. It really is that next level stuff that you do. So thank you so much for teaching thank you. us. They will spend. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.